Hello everyone, welcome to yourfaculty.com. We are going to deal with this topic pipes and cisterns in this video. Our website is yourfaculty.com and our Facebook page search for your faculty. Okay. Two pipes A and B can fill a cistern in 60 minutes, 75 minutes respectively. There is a third pipe in the bottom of the cistern to empty it. There is no value given here. right? If all three pipes are simultaneously opened, then the cistern can is full in 15 minutes. Fair enough. In how much time the third pipe alone can empty the cistern? Okay, so what we need to do here is let's uh, start off by assuming that it takes it takes x minutes to empty the cistern by third pipe, right? So. If we have to uh, come out with a formula or equation for the effort taken in one minute, okay, the the work done by all the three pipes in one minute, what do we get? One by sixty, which is this, plus one by seventy-five, which is this, minus one by x, which is this, because third pipe at the bottom of is emptying it, right? And if all three pipes are simultaneously open and they fill the cistern in 1 by 50. So, 50 minutes. So, it is 1 by 50. It's very simple. So, 1 by x is equal to, uh, what do you, what are you left with? You are left with 1 by 60 plus 1 by 75 minus 1 by 50. You will get the answer as 1 by 100. So, it is 100 minutes. So, it takes in one minute, one by hundredth part is uh, filled. So when th all three pipes are open, so it takes hundred minutes to fill when all pipes are open. Moving on to the next question. A pump can fill a tank in two hours because of a leak. It took two one by three hours to fill the tank. The leak can drain all the water in of the tank in. Okay. So you can assume that. Uh, leak is like another tap that will empty the tank, right? Okay, so time taken by leak to empty the tank is equal to x hours, right? So, in if if all, if both the uh, if the pump and the leak are to work for one hour, okay, what is the total? What is the value you see here? We see that one by two of the uh, tank is filled by the pump plus sorry minus here because the leak minus one by x because leak is emptying the water and how much of the water is uh, f uh, filled when all of them are working together you get seven it takes seven by three of uh, three uh, hours to fill the tank right three twos are six six plus one seven seven by three so it will take three by seven it will fill three seventh of the tank right in one hour now if this is the equation given to us because it takes seven by three in one hour it will take three by three by seven uh, please don't get confused with these equations. It is a reciprocal over here. So, if this is the equation given to you, what should you do next? The next step is 1 by 2 minus 3 by 7 is equal to 1 by x. And 1 by x is equal to what? 7 minus 6, 1 by 7, 2 are 14. So, x is equal to 14 hours. And that is the answer for you. So, it takes if the leak alone is there, it can drain all the waters out in 14 hours. A tank is filled in 5 hours by 3 pipes A, B and C. Pipe A, pipe C is twice as fast as B. B is twice as fast as A. So, there is A, B and C. Okay. So, what are they saying? Pipe C is twice as fast as B and B is twice as fast as A. 
okay so c is the fastest here so if it takes x hours for a to fill the tank okay how much time will it take for b to fill the tank b is twice as fast as a which means b will take only x by 2 hours to fill the tank and c is twice as fast as b it would mean c would take x by 4 so i hope you are now you will not get confused here please don't put 2x and 4x here because that is a mistake that you are, you are bound to make what is x here x is amount of time that will take here so the time is going to reduce because b and c are faster than a okay so our uh, our variables are now x x by 2 and x by 4 for a b and c respectively right now what is that they asked how much time will pipe a alone filter that so a tank is filled by 5 hours by 3 pipes so we now know that x and x by 2 and x by 4 this is the time taken by 3 pipes and uh, now for 1 hour if they work if they are all opened up for 1 hour how much will they fill 1 by x plus 2 by x plus 4 by x any doubts on that and how much if what are they said if all three are open in five hours they fill the tank which means in one hour they fill one fifth of the tank i hope you are able to understand this um, so all that we have to do now is x is common across so we take x on the other side uh, which means we are left with seven five are 35 7 is equal to x by 5 1 plus 2 plus 4 7 is equal to x by 5 x is equal to 35 so x is equal to 35 which is the answer over here is your answer because they asked for pipe a and pipe a is x here two pipes a and b can fill a tank in 15 minutes and 20 minutes respectively both pipes are open together but after four minutes pipe a is turned off what's the total time required to fill the tank so basically the question in short if you have to say for four minutes pipe pipes a and b are working right and after that rest of the time pipe b is working in short right so first is in four minutes how much will the tank be filled if both a and b are working so in one minute if a and b are working how much will it be filled 1 by 15 plus 1 by 20 isn't it so now if it is for uh, four minutes what do we do we just need to multiply this by four so in one minute this is the quantity that is getting filled so in four minutes into four right and what do you get you get 20 plus uh, 15 is 35 35 by 20 into 15 into 4 uh, you 4 5 7 is equal to 7 by 15 so we know that in four minutes 7 by 15 000, tank is filled so what is remaining now what is remaining if 7 by 15 is filled 1 minus 7 by 15 is remaining which is what 8 by 15 so now 8 by 15 of the tank has to be filled by tank b alone and tank b alone in one minute can fill how much 1 by 20 of 20 20 minutes it fills the tank so in one minute fills 1 by 20 and in x minutes it needs to fill how much 8 by 15 of the tank right so how do we do it we know the shortcut wherever there is question mark x is question mark here right as that value has to come as denominator so what is the shortcut now 8 by 15 into 1 by 1 by 20 is what we need to find out and that's x for you 
So what is that? This is 3, this is 4 and you get 8 fours are 32 by 3 which is equal to what? 10 2 by 3. 10 minutes 2 by 3 seconds. Okay. So what is 2 by 3 seconds by the way? 2 by 3 into 60. 60 seconds right? So what do you get? You get 40 seconds. So your answer is somewhere 10 minutes. 40 seconds. What is the total time required to fill the tank? So what is that they have said? What is the total time? So we already know there's 4 minutes and then it, it takes uh, pipe B alone to fill 10 minutes 40 seconds. So what is that? 4 plus 10 minutes 40 seconds. And what is the answer? 14 minutes 40 seconds. I hope you understood. There are two portions here. One is it took four minutes. Uh, basically, the question itself says that both pipes are open for four minutes. And then pipe B is filling the rest of tank, which is 8 by 15 of the tank, in 10 2 by 3, 10 minutes 2 by 3 seconds, which is uh, 10 minutes 40 seconds. You have it here. Right? So, so with this, what they are asking, what is the total time required to fill the tank? The total time is the first 4 minutes and, which is here, and the next 10 minutes 40 seconds, which is 14 minutes 40 seconds. Thanks for watching our uh, video. Uh, you can subscribe to more videos at your faculty channel. Like us on our Facebook page and our LinkedIn page. And you can also follow us on Twitter. Thank you.